Hello, my friends. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya, Psychic Crafts. Y'all, we are doing card number 21 today. I've got some pieces already cut out to make this go hopefully a little quicker. And I am so glad you're here to join me. And let's see, this is for the... Gretchen's walking through my piles of paper over there. This is for the challenge hosted by Carrie the Crafter at Carrie Griffith's page. And oh, I can't get it out there. We're making one postcard a day with an element from our jelly plate on each one. And each one needs to be four by six and have the number that corresponds. I just tore that out. Corresponds with the day. So 21 is today and I wanted to do something a little different. I got a new die set and I wanted to use it. So I cut out the circle that's part of the die set and I wanted to put it over perhaps another, another, oh, another card. I don't know if that's a color I want. I'm kind of playing with this a little bit because I, I didn't pick out, ooh, wait a minute, maybe this one. I didn't pick out a card in advance because I wanted to try a couple different things. Now this card, this die cut, cuts out the circle and then you put the candles in here. And I kind of like the idea of the glow there. of the background being maybe that color because it does kind of look like a glow, doesn't it? I'm thinking I'm only gonna do three candles because I like to de decorate in odd numbers. And let's see here. Ah, I dropped it. Of course I did. Of course I dropped it, I needed that piece. It was one of the only ones that didn't tear out right, or that did tear out right. Let's see if I can get this in here correctly. But then you put the little pieces in here. They didn't cut very well, to be honest. I think my, um, I think my magic mat is a little bit warped for my, my cutter, my die cut machine. So I think that's why, but let's see if I can get these in here. What do you guys think about this? Does this sound look pretty good? I'm just going simple here. Today is Sunday and I worked this morning. This It's now later in the evening. But we had bedding changes to do today, and then they have inventory tonight. I don't have to do that, thank goodness. So my team will be up counting tonight. While I am at home snoring, hopefully. Let's see. I don't like this piece because I broke it. So we can just kind of put these in here and make, do you guys like that? I should probably stop while I'm ahead. Cause if we do, I think I do. I think I like that a lot. In fact, I'm gonna kind of probably put this up this way and make these maybe go down just a little bit. Like stagger down a little lower and then put those around. And then it's got a beautiful red bow. That's gonna be a little bit it's going to be a little bit long, but I can kind of turn it. Okay, I think I do like this. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, this is going to be a little different because normally I do my sewing afterwards, but today I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. And I want to go ahead and sew around that circle because I think that will keep it looking similar to the rest of the cards that I did. I love that it's got some bright colors up in here too. Nah, these aren't exactly the same size. They're, I'll trim them up just a little bit. See how it's a little bit different? 
I must have cut some a little crooked, but that's okay. That is an easy fix. We'll just do this. And we'll just make sure they're all, this one looks a little crooked too. The same. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to go ahead and sew this around here with a zigzag and around here with a straight stitch. And I'm going to come back and then we're going to glue in the candles and the greens and finish up. It's a simple card today. We'll put the number on. It'll be easy. See you in a minute. All right, there we have it. It is sewn. Did the zigzag stitch around the circle and then did the straight stitch around the edges. I'm going to kind of trim some of that back. I don't mind the threads on there, but I don't want them too much. So there we go. And then I'm going to keep the circle that I cut for something else. All right. So next, one of the things I want to do. Oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't get out yellow ink. But I do have, I do have some. Because so I want to color those a little bit. Did you, did you find a bone? Gretchen found a bone. She found a bone. There's that one. I've got a yellow one and an orangey one. We'll kind of blend these together just a little bit and make a pretty, pretty color. Excuse me, Gretchen. Excuse me, folks. Sorry I stepped away, but here I am. I've got these two stampabilities. I've never used these. I don't think maybe I have. Maybe I have. Let me move these out of the way. I think I need those today. So get them out of the way. And where would the color be the darkest? At the top or the bottom of the flame? The bottom? The top? I don't know. Can't think about, I can't think of, hmm. Well, let's do one. If we don't like it, we'll change it. How about that? Oops, I didn't mean to get the, the actual candle. Come on, that's pretty. I'll have to mask the um, I'll have to mask the white part. We'll put this one aside though, because I didn't, because I didn't mask it. So what I mean by that is, I'm gonna take some washi tape if I can remember what drawer I put it in, because it doesn't stick well. That's why we like it sometimes, because it doesn't stick well. Here, we'll do this all at the same time. We'll just stick this across this way. How about that? And we'll just double duty, triple duty. There, it ain't going anywhere. All right, let's get a little, little yellow going. Probably overkill with the ink, with the tape there because you know this is only gonna take a second just kind of barely getting the edges there so what I think I might do you can barely see the orange on there what I think I want to do is this uh, yeah a little bit more A little bit more. Let's try it one more time. That's gonna. That's gonna be good. Okay. Now we'll just take these off. We can use that tape for something else. Let's stick it over here on something else. Excuse my reach. And let's go ahead and tap, close these up. some green okay put those back my goodness all right let's start here you know what I should have done check this out watch this watch this watch this there may still be a little bit of yellow on here 
There's not. Well, a little bit. Let's do this also. The only reason I'm doing this, I don't want to necessarily grunge up this candle, but it could use a little bit of an outline. Just barely on the edges, just a touch. And I'll do that on each one. I haven't used my glue yet today. Here we go. See how that line just, that um, the outline just a little bit kind of helps pull that to the front so that it's a little bit more noticeable. Just a little. And that's perfect. Next one. that just a little bit lower and then one more time a little bit lower than the last one try to keep it straight there we go, that's very pretty. So far so good, so far so good. Okay, now the leaves, the, not leaves, but the pine and the holly and the, the wreath, I guess, is probably, or garland. I don't know, what, what the, what's it called? I can't think, think of what it's called here. The greenery, we'll just call it the greenery. How about that? Need to put those all around. Do you guys use candles during the holidays? I tend to use, I tend to burn candles a little bit more during the um, the holiday season. Just, you know, for a little ambiance and a little fresh smell and, you know, it's kind of nice when you have your door shut all the time because the winter cold and to have a little warm candle burning, it's kind of nice. In fact, I actually have one going in the kitchen right now. Not that it's cool or anything, but I just, I just thought about it. <laughs> it's peach scented, so it's kind of nice. There we go. Just want to fill this in a little bit, cover the bases of the candles. My gosh, you guys, I got so excited today. So, you know, I've, my, <laughs> my dragons haven't been wanting to be held much. It's been a, kind of sad for me because out of six of them, nobody, nobody wants to be my buddy. They're all just kind of hissy and leave me alone kind of attitudes. But lately, one of the ones that was like that the most, um, he runs up to the glass and wants me to take him out and hold him. And it's just been so fun. So I got to do that today. He might, he just might be the one, not the one I would have expected for sure, but he's such a sweetheart. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun when your pets like you back. <laughs> Never had that problem with Gretchen, but my, I think my dragons are just going through their teens and they're just grumpy all the time. It's like, if you're not holding a bug, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's pretty much it. I don't need that piece. All right, I think I want to figure out where I want this bow. I think I'm going to just kind of put it here. And in so doing, I'll put these leaves, these holly leaves around it. Kind of. Little more solid pieces there. There we go. 
There we are. That looks nice. I'm so glad I did this challenge. It's been really fun. It's been, um, you know, it, days I didn't know what I was going to make. I was like, well, I still need to make my card. So it's kind of giving me a direction this month. But I've gotten quite a bit, got quite a bit done and I love it. Just a little project every day makes such a difference. And heck, I'm going to have a Christmas present almost done for the holidays. So that'll be one less shopping shopping trip I have to make. We'll just stick that one there. And then this one. We'll go here. I kind of feel like I need to put some something over there, but then maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I won't pull from here. If I put something over here, it's going to look weird if it's not around this side, so I'll just leave it alone. Probably should just leave that. What do you guys think about that? Is it cute? Let's find our number. Yesterday was 20. Today's the 21st, so I need a 2 and a 1, and I should have those. I should have those available. There's my 1. And I should have a two in here somewhere. There's a three, some fours, a seven. I need one, two. I just need a two, not one, two, like one, two, three, but a two. I need a two, please. Oh, you're going to, oh, there it is. I knew there was one in there somewhere. Ooh, I got a snowflake. Do I do it? Yes. Oh, let's do that. Let's do that. That is the perfect place. Let's use those to decorate there. I should have at least a couple more. Yep, I do. That wasn't my intention. Two, three, four. There's a fifth one. It's an odd number. It wasn't my intention, but it'll work. Should I also do, here's a thought too. Should I do some splatters? What if I did some splatters on here? Like if I cover this, cover this, because I don't want to splatter those things. What if I splattered on the blue and green, just around this part? Maybe that would be nice. Let's do that. Let's cover up all the things I deem important. Let's see. That'll work. That's just a little bit. That's all I need. Let's see what we can get on there. Where's that crazy brush? Where's my crazy splatter brush? There it is. We'll just mix that up. That's just a little gesso. You could use white acrylic paint. I just don't have any white acrylic paint, so I'm using my gesso. And it works just as well. Good thing I covered that picture, huh? I got quite a bit there. I'm going to kind of go a little bit heavy handed here. And let's see if I can get more up here. I'm getting it all over my desk, but all right. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. We'll just wipe this up. I think my neighbors are home from vacation today. I'm hearing some noise over there. There we go. Okay. I am going to hit this with my heat gun quickly. No sp expand paste today, just the gesso.
do this very quickly. You can see some of the spots kind of soak in. That's what I want. Some of them are much darker than others. That's great. I love the interest that it adds that it's got different various um, you see, can see some of the lighter spots in here and then some of the darker ones that are a little more opaque, which kind of blends into this area here. That's a, I don't know what. I really like that, the way that worked. I think I'm gonna take a marker and make those lines, the little wick in the candle. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, I wish I hadn't. It's too late now. Oh well, it's still nice. It's still nice, I should have left it, but that's okay. Here, let's do our little snowflakes. It's only sticking out because I'm staring at it. I think it's okay, it's it's not, it's, it's fine. Add a little sparkle on there. Maybe just the three. Just the three. Should I, is that yeah? I think that's enough. And I think that's that's perfect because it draws your eyes away from the black, the black lines I just made. Okay, let's put those ones on there, and we'll be finished. Oh no, we won't. We've got a little bit more to go, but not too much. Almost done. And I use the same numbers on all of my cards so they're all cohesive and look like a set because they are and they're going to be creating a book when I'm done. I don't, I've said it before, I don't know what Carrie's plan is when these are all done. I think, I feel like Carrie has an idea of what, the, what he's going to have us all do with these when we're done, but I'm going another direction of my own. And I'm going to be making a book. So very excited to see how that turns out. And I'm kind of excited to see how everybody, you know, what everybody does with them. Lots of creators are doing this. If you're interested in checking out their cards, the other creators that are participating, make sure to put in the hashtag Jelly, G-E-L-Y, postcard play. And you'll be able to see all the different cards and creators everybody's doing something different not everybody's doing Christmas this is kind of my own thing I decided to do a Christmas that was that was my idea and everybody's just kind of doing their own style their own version you know they're doing their own thing Carrie did one with bugs yes yesterday or today I think that was yesterday I don't think yeah I think that was yesterday and or maybe it was today I don't remember when I watched the video I had insomnia last night so I kind of had um you know, he could have posted it at midnight, and I may have watched it this morning, like at 3 a.m. or something crazy. So I really don't know. But he's doing some different things, and I know there's lots of mixed media. Well, lots of our mixed media artists are going to enjoy the jelly plate, so I think that's part of the fun. And, yeah, it's just a really fun challenge to get to do, you know, a little piece of art every day makes us better with our planning it makes us better with our you know working on our craft and um gives us something to walk away with and be proud of doesn't it i think so so i'm just distressing the edges then i'll just use this ink by the way we have a new friend in in amongst us eloise and she had commented on one of my previous videos letting me know she came over for this challenge and so Eloise I just wanted to say hi and welcome and thank you for being here I'm so glad you found me found us because I feel like we're a big community here there's lots of people that are here all the time and it just makes me so happy to be a part of your life so 
Thank you for being here, each and every one of you. But Eloise, I just wanted to give you a shout out today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome. So there is day number 21 in the books. I think it's gorgeous, honestly. I really, really like this one. I like how it turned out. It's simple. And I am excited that I got that die cut because I can do all kinds of fun things with it. So first time playing with that one. We've got a beautiful postcard. Yay. All right, you guys. Thanks again for being here. Thanks for spending time with me today and every day. And if you're interested in more cards, go check out those other creators. But also I've got a whole bunch of them, 21 to be exact, uh, listed also. So thanks again for being here. Hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a great one. Bye-bye.